Hello YouTube, WJ's Handy Dad here, and today I'm going to show you how to fix the dim odometer. Now, if you need specific details on how to remove the speedometer pod from the car, I have a much more detailed video, uh, and I'll link that above. But in this one, I'm just going to show real brief how to do that. You do not have to disassemble the pod to fix the dim odometer, and I strongly urge you not to disassemble it if you're only fixing the dim odometer. When you've got this disassembled, you can actually remove this. There's a squeeze tab there, and it just lifts up, and another one right there, and then that'll just lift off of there. You see I put the tape on there. And that was so that I could see where the needles were and they're all the way down because I'm going to have to pull those needles off. So I found getting them like a plastic pry tool under there and then lifting them up. You see how they come out. They look like that. And on the inside you see it's a metal. Just remove the clear plastic cover to get to the solder points. And to get the back off, you just basically work your way down, squeezing those in and prying up on the board until you've squeezed all of those in and the board should come off. So there you go. It wasn't nearly as difficult as I thought it would be to get that board off of there. And there is the odometer that's going dim so you see there's a whole bunch of solder points I'm gonna have to look at see if any of those are bad so this is the area we're talking about these six through the middle and then there's the two five five two and the two seven I guess four and two that is all the solder points that you need to look for so so I wanted to be really clear on this issue. If you're just soldering for the dim odometer, then just pull the clear plastic off the back and solder these points. You don't have to do any of the disassembly of the speedometer itself that I've shown. If you're not sure, I guess you can just hit each of those with your soldering iron and try to melt them back. Maybe just a teeny dab of solder as well. You got to be careful though because these are so tiny that if you just start blobbing solder on there you may actually short circuit those and connect them together which would be worse than just having a dim odometer. And the solder process is pretty straightforward. You got to heat your soldering iron up to full heat and then hold it against the connector and it should heat up really quick and then just touch your solder to the hot connector and it should melt a little bit of solder onto there but it's got to be a 
quick and precise process. And flipping the board over you can see where all your LED lights are. There are just numerous ones on here. So if you pre-plan this and you order all the replacement LEDs for here, while you've got it to part, you may as well replace all of them. I did not do that because I really wasn't thinking about that. And of course I didn't know what type of bulbs they were anyway, but you see they're just little like, square type bulbs. It's very possible that they glued them with the electrical conducting glue rather than soldering them. Hard to really say. Anyway, I'm not going to mess with the bulbs, but there they are if you needed to. And now that I've ripped this apart, you really don't have to do all of this work because with this in here, you can just peel off the clear backing and get to it. So this was covering it. You can just remove that and get to the soldering. So, lesson learned. All right, I touched up the solder on that one and that one. Looking under the in, you know intense magnifying, those two looked like they were not perfect. The rest of them pretty good. I just kind of touched the soldering iron all of them, but not really enough to do any real melting on them. So I'll put this back together and make sure everything is working. Installations, the reverse of removal. Of you can see the 113,944, 26.4 on the trip, 48.45 on the idle meter. Looks like my speedometer is about a sixteenth of an inch off on the speed. It should be showing zero, and it's showing just below zero. So I probably need to pull that one off and reset it which is why I didn't bolt everything back in I think the tack is right on and then obviously the shift indicator is stuck over at one just because I haven't reattached it yet once I reattach it it'll come back I really urge you not to disassemble the pod just solder the points on the back and be done that way your gauges will all remain accurate 